Bonnie asked, if you're going to eat something high glycemic like a rice cake, is it best to pair it with some protein like turkey or cottage cheese to sort of neutralize the insulin spike? And this Bonnie became very popular with Dr. Sears and the Zone Diet and everybody started talking about glycemic index. And yes, any time you eat carbohydrates, they're going to get digested first. They get into your bloodstream quicker and so there are two things to consider. The complexity of the carbohydrate, if something is, is really, really simple, of course it's going to get in the bloodstream faster. Something that's complex is going to be a little slower. And when you start pairing them with different foods, protein and fat for example, much more dense uh, in molecular structure, it slows down everything. But it's just as much a timing issue and a quantity issue as anything else. You can take something that's low glycemic and eat way too much and still get a pretty high glycemic response, a big insulin dump. You can do the same thing with protein. People don't often realize that protein, eating protein alone, releases insulin in your body just for the digestive process. So everything you're talking about is absolutely true and those are the minute points of nutrition, but I'd rather focus on the majors, which is having the right kinds of carbohydrates and the right amount throughout your entire day and then look at specific timing needs. There might be times in your day when you do want a high glycemic carb all by itself, maybe pre-workout, or maybe you're in between two pretty solid meals and you just need something to keep your blood sugar elevated. I'll give you an example. Uh, yesterday I had just that, two gigantic meals. Um, not gigantic, but two large meals, whole food meals. And I just didn't want to really eat anything in between, and so I just sipped on a, a Gold Peak iced tea that was watered down, so I had a little sugar, and, and that got me through. That was fine. So know the context, know what's happening in your body, and if you are dieting and you do see some pretty aggressive hunger, there are times to experiment with different combinations like that. But I think for the most part, if you're keeping protein in three or four meals per day spread out, you can tailor your carbohydrate intake based on timing and need, not necessarily just complexity and glycemic index.